GBC1 is proud to present a smashing blast from the past in association with FTV Studios. Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of this revival series of Georgia and Arthur. Now today everybody, now because I'm going to be talking to Arthur about why I got rid of a Space Jam game for the PS1. Well, you see viewers, I don't think I'm interested in Space Jam for the PS1 anymore. Hey, but don't worry though viewers, I still got the music CD of it though, from which I got um, from five years ago. When it was on my birthday. I would ask for the Looney Tunes back in action soundtrack. Well, I no longer want them anymore. Yeah, because I thought it was a bit pointless to have it. Hey, but that's okay, both viewers. I'm sure that it was only a bit of a misunderstanding. It's because of getting some new PS1 titles. Oh, and sometimes for new VHS and DVDs to come out. Now, anyways, well, I better go and uh, explain that to Arthur now. Hey, Arthur, hey, come over here, please, buddy. Here I am. Ah, well, glad to have you here again. Oh, how did you get on settling into this house again? Very well. Oh, well, I'm glad you went, think it went very well. Oh, have you said hello to the viewers out here? Oh, yeah. Where are my manners? Hi, everybody. Arthur the Bright Bear here. Well, I'm so pleased to be here again. Well, then, daughter, I've heard that you just talked about a certain Space Jam game for the PS1. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's right, Arthur. Now, do you remember, uh, back in the short films, when I first showed you the Space Jam game, and same with videos and CDs? Um, yes. Well, good news and bad news. The good news is, Arthur, is that I still got the Space Jam music CD. <gasps> Ooh, well, I see how. So what happened to the other two? Ah, the other two, Arthur. Now, I'm very sorry to say that I have no longer interest in a Space Jam for the PS1 and the same with the Looney Tunes Pack in Action CD. <gasps> what? Ooh. I know. It is very sad for you, huh? Arthur! Arthur! Wake up! Oh dear. Looks like Arthur's fainted, everybody. Hmm. What can I do to solve the problem? Oh, I know. Um, maybe a can of Pepsi Max might help. Well, I sure hope this drink of Pepsi Max will wake Arthur up, and hopefully he'll forget about what I just said. And I'm sure the can of Pepsi Max drink will wake Arthur up, and hopefully he'll forget. I'm sure the Pepsi. I'm sure the Pepsi. I'm sh I'm sh I'm sh I'm sh uh, Arthur, you have fainted, haven't you? Just because you were a bit worried about me getting the Space Jam game of the PS1, and the same with the music CD of the Tube Back in Action. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, huh? what? Arthur! Arthur! Wake up! Oh, Arthur, stop using your tears! Oh, you're gonna get me all trippling! Arthur! Arthur! <laughs> Why is it that Arthur keeps using tears to wipe all over me? That is disgusting! You dirty boy! Sorry! Oh, it's all right, Arthur. I know, it's all right. Please don't cry about it. I mean, there's no use crying over um something that I have to get rid of. Yes, there is. I can stop you. Ow, 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 ow. Right, that's it, Arthur. Right, for the first time ever, I've done something to your granddad. You're grounded. What? Why am I grounded? Because you kept slapping me. And after that, you're grounded until the next episode. Oh, why am I grounded? Well, you slap me. Right, and I'm going to push you to your room. Now, go to your room, you big fat bear. Big fat bear! <laughs> Nobody ever calls me the big fat bear! Arthur, <laughs> oh, stop struggling then! Oh, you know me, me! Alright, viewers, hey, uh, sorry about Arthur. Uh, well, because obviously, I already told him about the Space Jam and the music scene. <laughs> oh, yeah! Get your grandson off me! Oh, alright. 
Oh, oi! Oh, my God! Oh, my friend! Ah. Oh, hello, friend. What's going on? Why did you destroy all them? Uh, well, you see, Granddad, the George have got rid of the Space Jam game for the PS1 and the PS1 Senior. Bluetooth back in action. For real. Oh. Is that true, George? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Yeah, and I know that's almost as half bad as getting rid of a GameCube console. Getting rid of a GameCube console? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, Arthur. You see, George Baxter has first explained that to me uh, last time. Oh, what, is it because he's all grown up? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, why did you say so, Granddad? Well, why did you ask him? Oh, I'll ask him anyway. Uh, George, uh, is it true that you got rid of anything that you don't want? Yes, because you see, Arthur, I am now a grown-up man. Oh, it's because uh, uh, you're just still doing that, uh, just still doing filming. Yeah, that's right. Oh. All right then, George. Well, I better leave you to it then. Yeah, see, you grounded me. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Are you all right there, George? I'm all right there, but oh, look what Buff has done to my neck. Oh, I'm sure your neck will be really better. Yeah, well, I hope so, don't I? Yeah, because I know that Arthur's a bit upset about. Space Jam game for the PS1, and the same with the music CD of Luigi's Back in Action. Oh, so uh, I have a question for you. Why did you get rid of a Space Jam game uh, and the same with the music CD of Luigi's Back in Action? Ah, because I was just having a nice clear out. Oh, I see. Well, well, the important thing is you did explain that to him. Yeah. All right. Well, I better leave you to it then. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Bye bye. And bye bye to me, George Buxton. Bye everybody. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.